I'm Claire from Creative The Otterway. I'm an independent demonstrator for Stamping Up in the UK. Thank you for joining me today. Um, over on my Facebook VIP group, which is for customers or event attendees, um, we have a question of the day and completely random every day. Can be topical, can be just something on the spur of the moment, all sorts of questions. And one of the questions was, what um, craft item do you have that you never use? And more than half of the ladies said the envelope punch board. Um, this is something that Stampin' Up! used to sell a few years ago. And I remember when it came out and I was super, super excited because you could do so much with it. Um, and obviously shared that excitement with my customers and my friends. Um, bought a couple of them, an envelope punch board. We used it loads at the time and now it's sat at the cupboard and nobody tends to use it. So this is a little refresher video for you. Um, get your stuff out of the cupboards and start using it. Remember why you bought it and how useful it was. So this is just that. It's not about any products, it's just about how to use this. So there are lots of envelope punch boards on the market. I'm uh, specifically talking about the Stampin' Up! one, but they're more or less the same. There's um, an inch mark along here. There's a centimetre mark along here. There should be a little bit of writing on it that tells you how to use it. And then some sizes here. It gives you a little idea of what you're aiming for, as in an envelope. And it's got this very handy tool here. Um, which is bone folder for just pressing down on your seams. So how do I make an envelope? Okay, so if I take a card, um, this is just a random card that I've got. Um, if I measure it, because that's the first thing you're going to need to do. So this is roughly four and a quarter four and a quarter inches by probably six inches. Um, so if I have a look on here, it says card size here. So what did I say it was? Four and a quarter by six. So I am looking at the card size that it says here and I go down until I find four and a quarter by six or as near as so this has got four, four, four. It's got four and a half by four. It's got four and a quarter by five and a half. Mm, it's got four by six and a half, four and a half by six. Okay, I'm going to go with that because that's slightly bigger than what I need it. So four and a half by six. And I follow the line along and it says what my paper size needs to be to start with. And that is eight and a half by eight and a half. So that's what I need to start. And then it says the score line is three and three quarter inches. So I'm going to concentrate first on cutting my paper to eight and a half by eight and a half. So I've got some random paper here. I'm, it's a 12 by 12 sheet and I'm just going to cut it to eight and a half by eight and a half. So let's just do that. Okay. So there's a bit there I don't need. And there's going to be an equal amount on the other side. Eight and a half. Okay, so there's that bit there I don't need as well. That's my eight and a half by eight and a half. And I'm going to make an envelope for this card to fit. So what was the other thing it said? So let's find it again. Four and a half by six, eight and a half by eight and a half, three and three quarter is the score line. So if I move the card out of the way, bring this over. Three and three quarters equates to this along here. So if I go along, there's three inches and then there's three quarters. So I'm going to slide my paper under here 
and I'm going to bring the edge right up to three and three quarters. And then this button here, I'm going to push down. You can hear it cut. And then this is to do your first score line. So if you're a bit worried, you don't know what to do, where do you put your score line? I'll bring that over a bit. There's this groove here. So you can start on the outside if you like and just bring it in. Or you can start underneath and you can feel for where the groove is and just score. And you can see it goes from the middle of the piece you cut to the edge. Now the next thing that you're gonna do, because you're making an envelope, there's no more measuring. You just turn it and where there's a score guide here, this little tail bit that sticks out, make sure that lines up, punch it again. Okay, so I've just punched that and I'm gonna score again. Now this side looks not quite right because it's not as long a score line. That's fine, I promise you. Turn it again, line up the score again, like so. Score along the groove. And can you see already, it's starting to bring the shape of an envelope. Now this is the fourth and final side. I've made sure that it's lined up. I punch down and I bring it over. So now what happens is I've got a square piece with a rectangle across the middle and four corners that have got triangles in. There's also a very handy little tool on the back of this punch. If I push that under there and push down, it will round your corners. Now it's up to you whether you do every single corner, you just do opposite corners, but it just finishes off your paper really nicely. So I can move that out of the way. Now, the most important decision is which side do you want on the outside? Okay, now this has got really nice birds on the outside, but the paper is gonna fold like that. Is that gonna be okay? Yeah. So I'm gonna fold up the bottom line, just find the score and just burnish that. Fold either side. Burnish that. Can you see? An envelope. Ta-da! And then this is my flap at the top. And that is it. All I need to do now is work out where to put my glue. So I've got some Tombow glue. I'm just going to put a little bit along here. Okay? Not loads of glue. Uh, just a thin line. And I'm going to do this line at the same and then I'm gonna press that over and just press down on there for a moment, okay? And that's my envelope. But does my card fit? Da, da, da. It certainly does. Oh, and how nice is that? An envelope to send in the post. You probably have to put a sticky label on and write the address on, but so much nicer than a plain white envelope. And if you're anything like me, you've got loads of paper in your stash, get using it. Okay, now just to show that you can do that with smaller sizes as well, I'm going to bring that back over. And what have I got in my thing? So I've got a little, um, well, this is my Leeds United card, but this is a gift card size. If I wanted to make an envelope for this and just make that a bit fancy, what would I do? So bring your cut in, your paper trimmer back in. Let's measure it. We always measure first. So this is three and a half by two and a quarter. So what size paper would I need for that? So remember, we've got the card size which was two and a half and it was by three and a quarter. So the nearest one is two and a half by three and a half and you need a five and a half by five and a half piece of paper to start. So I've got a perfect piece of paper here. It's any way up so it doesn't matter, but it's six by six. So I'm just gonna cut off half an inch on both sides. Okay. 
do that very quickly. So, so my six by six becomes five and a half by five and a half. Okay. Now the score line, so it was five and a half, two and three eighths. So I do exactly the same. Slot it underneath, find two and three eighths, which is there. Press down and do again. Now remember, no more um, measuring. We're just following the score line. It's a little bit more tricky to see because it's a very floral paper. Turn it to the third side. Like so. And the fourth side. Like so. A little trick if you feel like it's going completely wrong and you're not sure what you're doing. If you're doing something like an envelope, if you just look at this bit before you score, if it's way over here, you know it's not in the right place. If it's lined up there, you know the score is going to be in the right place. Okay. So this time I am just going to punch top and bottom. So the wider bit is my top and bottom. And I am going to have... Hmm, which one? I might have that on the inside. I quite like why I was on the inside. So let's bring this round. Okay. Put a little bit of glue on my envelope stick that down like so and this is my bit that's going to come over let's move those scraps out of the way does my card fit in there ta-da so look fits lovely and that's your envelope so two envelopes okay so that's how you make envelopes what else can you make okay who doesn't love a bow on a box or on a card or something like that? Let me show you how to make a bow. So you need a piece of card. This is for a smallish type bow. One inch by hmm, seven and one eighths. Okay, so that is, oh, that's not one inch, is it? Let's have a look. This one I prepared earlier. One inch by seven and one eighths so you put the paper trimmer out the way bring this over now you're not going to know what um, sizes to do this is something that you'll need to have just had a little play with and worked out um, but I can show you here what you do you line it up or well, first of all let's punch the ends you know it punches that shape out so it punches that sort of shape let's do that either end so we're just looking with our eye to try and see if that's in the middle. Okay, that's not too bad, is it? Let's do that end as well. Okay, like so. Just move those out of the way. It's a little bit harder to punch because it's thicker card. Now, one and a half inches. So the one is right next to there. One and a half is there. So we're going to punch that side. Spin it over, punch that side, okay, so you end up with that. You can already, I can hear you, you can already see it's going to be a bow. Turn it over, do one and a half that side. It's quite exciting, isn't it? Okay, here is this side. Okay, so you've got that. What about the middle bit? So... We need to do it at three and a half, I think. It's three and a half, my memory says me right. Basically, you want the middle bit of this, which I'm sure looks about right at three and a half. So let's give it a go. Three and a half. Three and a half. Okay. Is it going to make a bow? Let's have a look. So uh, let's use our bone folder. And we're just going to curve it a bit, okay, just like that. That needs to be flat. And that is going to come like so. So it just needs a little bit of persuading. I haven't curved it very much. And it's card, so 
so it's not liking being creased. So put a dab of glue on there and convince it that's where it needs to be, like so. Put a dab of glue on that side and bring it round. Can you see what it is? And that comes round. Okay, now you can put another piece of card around if you want, or a bit of ribbon, or a little embellishment. But we have a bow! Ta da! Two envelopes and a bow. Right, what else can we do? Oh, let me show you my favourite box. So I make um, biscuits, cookies, whatever you want to call them. Um, and I love to gift them. Everybody enjoys them. I make lots of variations and I like to give them here in a box. So how do you make a box with this envelope punch board? 12 by 12 piece of paper. We are going to, oh, we don't need that actually because it is 12 by 12, don't need to spoil it. Bring this over, okay? We are going to punch and score at four inches on every side. So pick a side, find four inches and punch. Now, I know what you're gonna say, the paper is so much bigger than the envelope punch board. Can you see, you can't even see it, can you, at the end? You've already punched, you're just gonna score as far as you can. Be really careful not to come off the edge because otherwise you end up tearing the paper. So the first line goes sort of about three quarters of the way. So it's punched at four inches and scored. Turn it and do it again. So we're going to punch it. Oh, got the wrong scoring tool. There you go. So you've got two. And you can see they almost join. Do it again. It's hard to see on the camera. Um, but all will become clear in a moment. Okay, so what happens is you end up with a scored diamond shape in the middle and a piece punched out at every on every side at four inches. Okay, flip the paper over and do it again. So four inches, punch it and score. So hopefully you will be able to see on this side. I've now got two punch uh, marks and the score lines are crossing. Go to the next side and you're gonna end up with two punches on all four sides at four inches. Okay, the last side like so. So it looks like that on all four sides, two punch marks and crisscrosses. You also need the corners scored. So just line that back up under there, okay, like so. And with your eye, have a look here that the score line is in the right place. So when I score across, you can see it's exactly right and that will give me a flap like so. So you just go around and do that on all four sides. Okay, well, I don't need to punch it, I'm just scoring, aren't I? And there's another one. So this is my third side. Okay. And my fourth side. Ta -da. So let's see how we make the box. Let's burnish all the scores, like so. Burnish those, just make sure everything is folded and it knows where it's going, okay? Like so. And then, did I bring scissors? Yeah. So, in with your 12 by 12, there's like a corner or a, a mid triangle in the middle of each side. So what you are going to do is cut up, pick one, 
and cut to there. I also like to do a little bit of a tab. So I'm just gonna, I should have bought my bigger scissors because this is a big piece of paper. So I'm gonna cut a little triangle, a little sliver like that off, okay? So spin it round and I do the next side. Just to the first score line. This feels like a lot of effort, but I promise you it's worth it. So much nicer to give a gift in a box that you've made as well. We take a lot of time with um, our cards. Why not give a nice box? Especially when that, our paper is so beautiful. And it's double-sided, so you've got a double whammy inside and outside. Looks amazing. Okay, hoping that you're still with me. Okay, so now I've done that on all four sides. So, this is going to be the side of my box, like so. So this flap is going to be stuck. So I'm going to put some glue on there. It's going to come up, um, where's the best you can see? Come up like that and stuck to that side. So I am just making sure there's a nice corner, like so. Okay, just pressing that down. Do the next one. So put some glue on the tab, bring it up. Make sure you've got a nice sharp corner. Like so. Put this side. And I'm going to put glue on the final one as well because it's quite awkward to put some glue on the last one. So that is going to come up to there. any of the corners but you could you could just leave the box like that and tie a ribbon round or put a belly band round it's quite a deep box how many inches deep is it um, about not far off three inches deep so that's a really deep box I think if you gave someone um, some really normal just some socks or a tie and they got it in a box like this, they'd be like, oh my God, that's an amazing gift. And then they open it and it's socks. Maybe put a chocolate in as well. <laughs> Otherwise they might be disappointed. If you don't wanna keep the flaps over, you can press the flaps back the other way and it turns into like a basket. So if you were given some cookies like I do or some biscuits, you could stick those flaps down to the outside instead you could shape, if you shape that on your corner, let's do that, hang on. If you shape that, that will go there and that will just secure on the side there. And you will have a nice box with two tone. Okay, so that's our box. Mm, shall I show you one more thing? Okay, a cracker. So crackers can be for all times of the year. They're not just for Christmas. Um, I'm gonna make one with a piece of this, mar I can't even remember, marvelous paper from Stampin' Up. So I have cut it, it's six by six, and I've cut one side at five and a half. Then I have scored on the five and a half inch side, I've scored at every inch which leaves me that five and a half piece at the end. So there's one inch, two inch, three inch, four inch, five inch, and that's the tab. Turn it back to the six inch side and I am lining it up at one and a half inches. And I'm just punching. 
Then I'm folding over the next flap, lining it up at one and a half inches and punching. It ends up with a hole like this. Fold the next one, line it up at one and a half, punch. Fold the next one, line it up at one and a half. It's just a lot of repetition, okay? Nearly there. Okay, and one more, right on the edge. So one and a half, there. Okay, now if you glue this flap to this, you can see it's going to be a cracker. You can tie a bit of ribbon around there. Um, you could just cut the ends and make a box that stands up like that. I've done that before. That's really nice. Um, or you could do the same the other end as it's what we've just done. Do it at one and a half. Hold it. One and a half. Oh, I think there's too many bits underneath. It's jamming. One and a half. So I really hope that you're going to share with me your makes. Get your envelope punch board out of the cupboard. Use it for... Oh, I've got this for a sound couch you can use it for as well. I forgot. Let me show you that as well. Let's quickly do this. You can use it for crackers, boxes, envelopes, bows. So that's our cracker shape. Let's put a bit of glue on this half inch thing. Let's move that out of the way. Put that there. Put that there. There's loads of different ways of doing crackers. This is just the simplest, quickest way I could think of to show you. Just making sure that's stuck. So that's my cracker. I haven't got any ribbon with me, but if you put ribbon around either end, that will just go in like so. And that will be your cracker, like that. Okay, right, next, last thing. So, what about if you wanted to make a tab? So if you've got memory and more cards, and you've got some three by three cards, or if you're doing an album, um, a mini album, and you want something with a little bit of shapes in it, okay? So you've got a piece of card like that. How do you do a tab on the top? So come along where you think you want your tab to be. So this one, if I did this at three and a quarter, uh, yeah, one and three and a quarter, one and three quarters, you end up with that, okay? That doesn't look like a tab at all. But if you get your paper trimmer, okay, because it's so good, you can see if you line that up with the cutting rail, depending on which way round you want it, ta-da, you've got a tab. So you can do tabs as well, okay? So let me bring all those things back in. A box. Push that back in that way so you can see it. A tab, a bow, a cracker, and two envelopes. Ta da! Right, girls. So, your challenge this week is to get that envelope punch board out of the cupboard and show me your makes. Hopefully you've liked this video. If you have and you'd like to see some more, please subscribe and press the little bell button and that will give you um, a new video every week, apart from when life gets in the way and it doesn't happen. Most times I do one every Friday. Um, you can find me on Instagram or Facebook and you can shop with me in the UK if you'd like to. Just look for creativelottoway.co.uk. Thanks for watching. Bye.